Assalamu alaikum viewers. Today we are going to learn how to do divisions. Divisions are really important in life as they help decide how many chocolates will you share among your cousins and friends, blah blah. So let's get back to the topic about doing divisions. In our previous episode, we have learned what the number we are going to divide by is called, what the number we are going to divide is called, what the remaining number is called, what the answer is called with detailed explanation. Do not miss that out. So let's begin with these divisions. Number one division, 78 divided by three. Remember that for every division, you need the times table. So you have to memorize the times table from one to 15. And in every division, you need a walking. So we have to do the walking for this calculation. First we have to draw the line like this. And now we will do digit by digit division which will make the division easy. See what I mean? If we take the whole one, it will it will go like this, 3 11 is a 33, 3 2 is a 36, blah, blah, blah. So it will take a lot of time and the division will get harder. And now let's take the first digit, 7. Now we have to check how many 3's will it take to make 7 or almost close to 7. 3 1's are 3, 3 2's are 6, 3 3's are 9. So three, three is a nine is bigger than seven. So we have to take the closest number, three to the six. And now we have to do subtraction. 7 minus 6 is equal to 1. And now another step is left. 8. We have to bring this 8 down so that we can do the proper kind of division. So now again we have to do how many times will it take for th 3 to become almost 8 in. 3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6, 3 3s are 9, 3 4s are 12, 3 5s are 15, 3 6 are 18. So we have got our answer. It is already 18 when we do 3 times 6 is equal to 18. So 3 times 6 is equal to 18. And let's do subtraction again. 18 minus 18 is 0. We have got our answer, which is 26 for this calculation. Now, how will we write the answer 26 here? We have to write only 26. It is simple, right? There is no remainder, so we won't write any remainder section. Number 2, 156 divided by 5. Now we are going to do 3 digit division and here also you have to do a walking. Let's begin. 156 divided by 5. Here we are, here we are dividing 156 by 5. And here a question will pop up in your mind. If 1 is smaller than 5, then how are we going to do step-by-step -step division? Division. Well, now we have to take the first two digits, 1, 5, 15. As you know, the 5 times table, we have to count the 5 times table. 5 ones are 5, 5 twos are 10, 5 threes are 15. 5 threes are 15. And here also we have to do subtraction. 
15 minus 15 is equal to 0. And again, we have to bring 6 down. How many times will it take for 5 to become 6 or almost close to it? Well, 5 on the 5, 5 to the 10. If we take 5 to the 10, 10 becomes bigger than 6. So we have to choose the rounding number 5 on the 5. Six minus five is equal to one. And now we can divide one by five. So we have got our answer. The answer is 31 and the remaining number is one. Now how will we write it in the answer, I mean in the dash? We have to write it like this. First we'll write the answer, 31. And now we have to give a comma and then R colon. What does R stand for? R stands for remainder. So we have a remainder of 1. So we will write 1 here. And done. We have finished with our divisions. And in the same method, you can do divisions with 4 digit, 5 digit, 6 digit, blah, blah, blah. So I hope you understood how you can do divisions with simple method, digit by digit method. And do not forget to subscribe this channel to get the latest videos. Like the videos and share them. Until next time, it's me, Shaf Islam. Bye.